What's up, guys? Jamie Love Seeker here, aka Rotisserie Jamie. Rotisserie Jamie is my main channel, so I need you guys for a favor, and that favor being, please sign the petition for me to meet Taker. Undertaker, meet Jamie Loves Taker. The petition link is in the description. It's a twitition, and I did not make it, but. You should sign it if you really think I deserve to meet Taker. Sign and spread. Put on your Twitters, obviously. Facebook it. Spread it to the world. You want to help me meet Taker? Help us get mainstream. Sign and spread to everyone you know. If you honestly, if you really think I deserve to meet Taker, help me meet him and honestly sign this petition. But I'm just going to vlog your blog today. Talk about something random since I really don't make a lot of videos on this channel. So, anyway, I'm going to talk about Pirates of the Caribbean. Since it is my favorite movie, fuck Twilight. No offense, because I know some of my people on here love Harry Potter. Fuck Harry Potter. Fuck The Hunger Games. Pirates of the Caribbean, FTW. I love the movies, I love Johnny Depp. Adore him, hence I have like a million, a million posters of him. Oh, I have two. But what is your favorite movie out of the four? I honestly can't choose, but I'm going to save that for Ask Jamie Calloway time, which I will explain what that is in a second. But I don't know, I just love the movies the pirates, the action, the sword fights. I mean, epic. The, some of it's hilarious. So I know it has drama to it. And it's just Johnny Depp's in it. Which makes it even more funnier. And the stunts. They actually put a lot of effort into this movie. I mean, one scene took like two weeks to do. One scene. In Pirates of the Caribbean 4. When Johnny, or Jack, is on the carriages... Going one from another. Johnny Depp actually does most of his stunts. But that took two weeks to do. And he actually did it. It wasn't stupid effects or anything. And the effects they do have is like intense graphics. And it's actually good graphics. Not stupid fairy tale crap. And also the scene with the ships going around in a circle... Like, they actually built those ships, and did, and that scene took forever. Like, obviously, when they were going in that whirl in Pirates 2, I mean, that was obviously effects, but half of it wasn't on the computer, and half of it was. And they do the most, some of the craziest stuff ever. If you actually see how they make the movie, unlike... Twilight, which is probably, like, all stupid graphics and stuff. Pirates of the Caribbean, they actually put so much effort into this movie. I remember one scene when there's one ship on one side and one ship on the other. It took, like, three months to build those ships, and then, then the scene. So, this is why I love Pirates of the Caribbean. I love the bloopers. They're absolutely hilarious, too. Pirates 1... You know, they wanted, he wanted the Black Pearl, and it was obviously Curse of the Black Pearl. They wanted Will, William Turner's blood to lift the curse. And they, uh, Barbosa dies at the end, but he comes back in the end of Pirates 2 because Jack ha owes a debt to... What's his name? Davy Jones. And he... And he dies at the end. Obviously comes back in Pirates 3... And in Pirates 3, what's his name, tries to, like, wipe out all pirates, and, and obviously he got control of the Kraken, and control of the ship, because he has the heart, Davy Jones' heart, they were going after the treasure in Pirates 2, you know, to get Davy Jones' heart, they want to go after that treasure, in Pirates 4, they go to the Fountain of Youth, you guys have to see these movies, they're freaking amazing, what are your favorite which one is your favorite Pirates of the Caribbean movie? God, I don't even know. 
for me. I'll have to think about that. But ask Jamie Callaway time. Send me in questions. It's like an Ask Emily. It's going to be either once or twice every month. It will be in April. Be up on Rotisserie Jamie. And I will answer, like, I don't know how many questions. But it won't be, like, a boring old Q&A. And it'll be entertaining. I used to do a show called No Turning Back. And it used to be weekly. And it used to be, you know, like, video of the month or whatever. But it won't be, like, a boring Q&A where it's five hours long, five million parts, and you're, like, and you only want to watch to see if your question was answered. It'll be entertaining, like Ask Millie, where she answers your question, and she's hilarious about it. And you want to see who's on there. And you want to see, oh, is my question answered this month? What kind of questions are there? It's going to be entertaining, believe me, guys. And I have an intro and everything for it. So please look out for that. Comment down below. Don't forget to sign the position.